Hey, good morning. Did I catch you unawares? Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of just studying my map. Here. Oh, wow. Yeah. There we go. So now you have something to look for. Yeah, normally I monitor the current status. Right. <laughs> see your game. I look. Yeah. Didn't see it. Oh, okay. I was, I was so focused on looking at the map that I was just in, in the clouds. There you are. I got my coffee and ready to roll. Yeah, well, not well, too fast yes. today. So, <laughs> right, so, let's just go ahead and apologize right up front to everybody. This will be a Mud March episode, so if you skip this one, we totally understand. But don't, please don't. Stick around, you never know what's going to happen. But Roger, it's great to hear from you, sir. As always, we're back on our Sunday morning with Great Campaigns of the American Civil War. This is the uh, Overland Campaign, Scenario 9, of course, from Grant Takes Command to... We are now on session number nine, and I would say things are heating up, but they're not. They're just kind of just moving on and moving on and slowly moving on. I mean, what do you say about this one? It's raining, as Super Tramp would say, again. And uh, let's take a quick look at where we are. We're on now turn 19, and I've got the first of two days of rain. Let me, uh, I forgot to clone this one. There you go. So I got two days of rain today and tomorrow. Uh, minor rivers are unfordable, but that's not a huge deal. That means the North Anna will not be crossed. But thankfully, assessing my situation here, uh, okay. Um, south of the North Anna, in every place that doesn't have a workable bridge, and over here on the eastern flank, I'm doing my thing. But it, like Roger said, I'm going to be doing my thing slowly today. So what do you say today, sir? Well, I'm just kind of checking the map out, trying to figure out what's my best solution here. You've you've turned my right flank now, my eastern flank, and you've got to cross the river. Probably something I just don't have in my head is destroying bridges. Like I probably should have maybe just had one unit whose job it is is to destroy bridges. And you've got several guys to my left as well, although I've hurt them. Yes, very much so. But then you've hurt me as well, uh, and we do have, I guess, one error that we need to discuss at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, I was, I was going to wave my hand and say, hey, no corrections today, folks. But uh, then I realized that Holger did point one out, but it is so intertwined with everything that happened yeah, I, there. I think we're just, we just let that one go, you know. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, people, please take a look at Holger's comment, and if you watch the video, you'll see I, I just get so caught up in reading the two fours that I just skip three on the retreat op priorities and I should have retreated into a hex not more distant but not enemy occupied and that would have cost me a manpower loss but that would have affected the whole chain of events as you're saying that transpired after that where you got a flank on Kershaw and wrecked him pretty thoroughly and now he's sitting uh, at the bridge there yeah so I mean it it, it was an it was an action packed episode to be sure. Mm -hmm. There's no sense in us, you know, retconning that one in our uh, comic book parlance. We're just going to let that one go. We made a goof on a priority and that happens all the time and that's what you're out there for. So if you see it, we really appreciate that you're pointing it out and hopefully everybody else will learn from it. And it's going to happen when you're playing great campaigns. That's the the learning, the tutorial part of this whole channel is do not always do as we do. <laughs> do <laughs> yeah. as we say. Yeah. So. It's it's too bad we can't have people editing us in real time so we can, can uh, edit those things I, out. I have, well, yeah. I mean, if I had caught that in editing, I, of course, would have put a little note up there saying that, yes, this is where Roger should have gone, but clearly I missed it, too, even in the editing portion. I've seen some channels that are uh, far more skilled at, at editing subtitles than, than this guy, and they will actually tell you to, hey, turn on the subtitles channel so that you're seeing the closed caption, and then they can actually insert notes there as well, but that's... That's, oh, that's well. well more work than I wish to do with YouTube. So yeah. if I uh, if I happen to catch it in editing, I will throw a little note up there as a floating text box. But otherwise, you guys are still on the hook for helping us out. And, uh, and we, of course, appreciate that, as always. Looking at the map this morning and everything that's going on, rain is not the worst thing for me right now. Rain is going to lead right into the strategic cycle, which I suspect just based on stuff that I got to do today, we'll probably get through these two turns and get the strategic cycle done. I mean, there's good and bad. It, the good is it slows the tempo down, and I really like that 
in great campaigns that it, it rains on the just and the unjust alike. I have a pretty good idea that you're not going to risk big sweeping movements to try to flank me and, you know, suffer that negative one and this and that all for yeah. the for the sake of getting, you know, a gotcha on me. Nor am I going to be making sweeping maneuvers either. So even though it's a pain for both sides, it really kind of takes a moment. It's a breather and it, you know. I, I've got some things I need to do, but more than more than anything, on your left flank, I've got to heal up. So, if I can just maintain some status quo during this rain turns, I'll be fine. <laughs> and I say that now, and then go ahead and fast forward to the end of the episode and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know how the you know the die rolls are going to play. Yeah, well, my guys. Yeah, I'm just kind of reviewing. That was such an action-packed episode. I have so many units that exhausted. I had forgotten that. So yeah, how much am I going to try to get done today? How hard do you push people in the rain? I mean, I, I have seen some games where rain turn and that first person goes pass and the other person goes pass. <laughs> it's just like, all right, we're done with that one. But I can't, I can't abide wasting an entire day. I mean, there's something that I can do and there's stuff that I do need to move. Yeah, I'm kind of the same, same way because yeah. I can't afford to sit not with what you've accomplished to the east. Because it's an open, you've got an open railroad, open path to, uh, assuming the rain's going to stop, you have an open path to Richmond at this point. And, yeah. Oh, which makes up the point that, mm. off map. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, I, I mold, I mold that as well. And I'm, I, I kind of feel like I'm behind the eight ball on that because there is such a sequence of things that the union needs to do for perhaps amphibious movement from, Fort Monroe to the on map segment to getting on some other boats to getting somewhere usable and that's a long time probably getting that window is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I'm not going to say I wasted it but when I first started the, the the Bermuda 100 campaign I was thinking that yeah this is going to be a piece of cake and then all of a sudden these bodies just flooded into Petersburg and to Port Waffle and they blunted all the attacks there. So now Butler is like, eh, am I better served here? Am I better served somewhere else? That's the right, problem. Yeah. But that takes time. You got to move all that stuff amphibious and then, yeah, transfer boats. And it's just kind of a nightmare. So I'm not enjoying, <laughs> personally, the logistical side of the the off map stuff and and i think you and i both are because when we play this the second time we're going to be like oh hell yeah i've got this now i know what i need to do but you know that's just part of the game but looking at the victory points i'm i'm very much in the hole literally i'm totally i'm a lot of points in the hole i've got uh 27 manpower losses that's minus 54 Roger's got 12 points. Uh, I've got 36 in my favor, so that's... Uh, plus, I've captured... I've counted controlled for 12 points. So I'm negative 6 in the hole right now, if I'm doing the math. I, does, does that... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that matches my sheet. Yeah. So uh, that means I've got to get 126 points for a marginal just before uh, <laughs> the end of the scenario, which is in a perfect world, June 12th, and... I was looking at the cross tab uh, charts for for this for the end of game. Let's see, uh, game ends table, and it's uh, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> I mean, it's based on manpower losses, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, it, you got all these modifiers, and those modifiers get very ugly quickly. And if you don't roll perfectly, then that game is just going to almost end literally on May thirty first. So. And and I'm I'm over that precipice. I have lost way too many manpower at this point. Uh, I've I've probably lost more, I would say, than historically Grant has done prior to Cold Harbor. I mean, I know Spotsylvania was bad, Wilderness was bad, but the the Butcher's Bill really, I mean, to get to the level where I am right now would have already been at somewhere in down there. I think closer to Richmond. So. Uh, you you've Ooh, definitely I, laid a hurt. Look at that all, you've laid, laid a hurting on me, sir. May thirty first. We're currently. Oh, we've got a ways to go. Oh well, I'm I'm glad you <laughs> think so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's get a let's get underway. 
like I said, we had that one correction. Thank you, Holger, for that. But otherwise, I don't think we had any issues. So we are free to move on. We'll start with the... We've done our random events. Of course, rain. Leader transfers! Uh, leader transfers mm. indeed. Well, let's move Hancock and Grant up to Gibbon. I'm going to move Wilson back to Chapman just to keep an eye on things back there. And I think that's it for me. I'll bring Lawn Street down to field. I'd like to move Stewart, but I'm probably going to need a three tactical. That's it for me. I'll just move Long Street. Okay. Uh, any off map stuff? Uh, I'm not in a <sighs> position to, so anything for you? All right. Nothing for me. Okay. Uh, county control has not changed. Uh, no attachments for me. Anything for you? I'm going to go ahead and add sub 2 under E. Johnson to E. Johnson. And I think that's the only option I've got. Well, do I want to do any attachments in the off map? I think the answer is no. I'm sure there's stuff I should be doing out there, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think the only option there would be that red, the 31st North Carolina Regiment could come up to one of the battalions. Yeah, yeah, I don't maybe think the, it's... Uh, Petersburg Military. I'm done. All right. Well, then we are ready for the action cycle. So, since I brought the rain upon us, why don't you go ahead and roll that first initiative? Okay. And as always, good luck to you this session. Good luck to you as well. It's mine, and I haven't had any... Have you thought about where I want to start? Oh, goody. There's zero point in guarding a Ford. So we'll take F. Lee. We'll take both of the, They both work for... Yep, they both do. Well, Lomax and Wickham. T1. Lomax is going to lose his entrenchments, which he worked so hard on. And here's their movement. It's going to be 8. And they pick up plus two for ten. F. Lee will stay with Wickham. Lomax will move first. He's just going to do a min move to the Cedar Hill Bridge. F. Lee and Wickham will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Initiative yours. Hancock, activate Mott and Gibbon to fatigue level one. Here's their movement plus one. It's four. So two hexes, basically. So we go two, four, and two, four. Initiative. Mine again. I will have Burnside activate everybody. There is their movement, plus one. Boo! But we'll take the opportunity to go over land here, so Potter and the artillery will go there, Burnside will go there, Stevenson will go there. Okay, uh, initiative. Mine again. Let's take them to two. There's the movement, plus one. There we go, seven. So they could go three hexes. Uh, Potter and artillery will go two, four, six. Burnside will go two, four, six. Stevenson, two, four, and six. The initiative? Mine, wow. Where have these dice been all my life? I'm going to move over here to the west. Let's get Robinson on the move. And he can be activated by Warren, so he'll get a plus one to this roll. He gets four. Goes two and four. Initiative, yours. Uh, you'll activate early and roads. And E. Johnson. Here's their movement. May regret it. 
five, basically two hexes. You'll stay with early. Rhodes will go first. He'll go one hex to hand over to Junction. You'll go two, four to there. You can't do a min move across the creek because the creek is unaffordable. Not thinking this through. You'll just go to join Heath. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, I'm going to increase Rhodes to fatigue two. And he's going to jump on the railroad. Bart. Initiative. Mine again. He's going to ride the rails. Tend to hand over depot, which according to the table, will add one fatigue. Picks up another fatigue. He rides the rails to hand over depot. And... The marker has now been used, so I can't move anybody by rail the rest of the turn. Initiative, yours. Nicely done, sir. Nicely. Yeah, damn, damn those interior lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. Now I've got something in my way. I should have seen that one. Gotta look at those red lines, man. I was trying to make sure I did all that right, and I believe I did. He was eligible. He didn't over his fatigue. And he should have picked up three. One for movement, one for embarking, and then one for railroad. So, yeah, that's right. He should be at fatigue three. And there's no extended mark right. for railroad yeah. movement. That was, the, that was the last thing. I was checking that while, while you were about to do your boo. The comforts of marching. Um, I'm going to have... Sedgwick's going to activate Getty. To one. Here's the movement. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three to there. Four, five to there. I'll keep him there. Okay. Uh, it is yours. Okay. We'll take Ram Sewer. T one plus one to this roll. He can go seven movement points. Apparently, we've all learned how to mud march. Yeah. How far do I want to take him, I guess? That's the question. Which direction do I want to go? I think I want to keep him on the railroads. He's going to go two, four, six to there. Uh, initiative. Mine again. And F. Lee will activate Wickham. Here's his movement. Eight plus two is ten. Two, four, six, eight, and ten to there. Initiative. Mine again. I'll activate Stuart. I'll activate Rosser. Eight one. Here's his movement. Plus three. Thirteen. That's nice. That's what I wanted. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. He was very close to Henry Clay's birthplace. Interesting. Initiative. Yours. Uh, since you've got the horses moving, let's get J.I. Gregg moving. With Sheridan, here's movement plus two. It's ten. We'll go two, four, six, eight, ten. Initiative. Uh oh. <laughs> oh possible into possible turn. Into turn. Okay. All right. Well, no, I won't contest it. Would you like to contest it? Hmm. No, I, I won't. I'll, I'll go ahead and let this turn in. I, I think the one thing I try to do is not worth doing. Okay. Then I'm going to do some foraging here. Let me look to the west. I think most everybody's in supply out there. They are. So we'll come into the fracas zone here. So we'll start with Wilson and Chapman. Uh, they are in Louisa. So one, two, or three. They are in supply. Uh, Crawford gets a plus one to this. So a one or two. He is also in supply. That's very helpful. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, Sedgwick and Ricketts, also a one or two. No. Uh, Macintosh, a one, two, or three. No. And right, big right. Come on, one or two. Yay! Big boys. That is good logistics, man. That's what we need right there. All right, we'll come down to Torbert, and we'll do bottom up. So Devin Custer Merritt, uh, they are all going to be just one, two, or three for Hanover. So Devin, no, Custer, yes. And Merritt, no. All right, C Custer knows where the chickens is. Well, I believe that is everybody of mine. So look around. You got guys that are behind Oh, I do. Yeah, I've got sub, sub one way up there. So sub one, one, two, or three. He is in supply. And Barlow and Ferraro already were in supply. All right, so that's it. I'm going to hit the rain recovery, which is great because we won't try to build any entrenchments. But everybody should clean up. Good. Wright is getting there. He's just... Slightly demoralized. Okay. All right, so uh, let's move our turn marker ahead. Pull that aside there. There we go. So we are at turn 20, our fifth strategic cycle turn. Uh, so I think the only order of business at the moment is our random events, so... Oh, right. Uh, I, guess, I guess I'll roll this one. Here. Okay. Here we go. Random event. It's ten. Confederate ten. command paralysis. Again? <laughs> so it's raining, and you don't want to march. So just stay in your tents. Okay, so it's command paralysis. I'll clone that baby. Right. And drag him down. That's our... One, two, three, four, fifth one of those. Wow. So it's either rain or command paralysis. And yet it doesn't seem to be helping me very much. Uh, all right. I guess leader transfers. Um, oh, it's important now. Yeah. I don't believe I've got any leader transfers, so I'll just keep them where they are. I'm going to move Stuart. So he can get to WH Lee. You. Will stay where he is, I guess. No reason to move him. I will move Lee to you. Man, what to do with AP Hill? I'll move AP Hill to Heath. He's under E. Johnson. Man, that's it for me. Uh, no off map, I presume. <laughs> no. Uh, county control is uh, status quo, and um, no attachments for me. Yeah, I have none this time. I, I, that was the one thing I was thinking about trying to set up. Okay. Well, then once again, I'll let you roll that first initiative. Okay. It's yours. All right. I will activate Sheridan March. J.I. Greg, here's the movement. Plus two. Twelve. So we'll go two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve to there. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, Sheridan will take them a second time. And here's their march. It's 10 this time. We'll go 2, 4 to there. Uh, initiative. Yours. It's raining this turn, but it's probably going to stop raining next turn. Morris Ford will become available. You'll activate early, and E. Johnson, here's their movement, it's three, which means they can move one hex each. Yule and Lee will transfer to E. Johnson, one, two, one, two, initiative, mine again, take the same two guys, four, now they can go two whole hexes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Initiative, yours. Torbert will activate the first calf. Here's their movement, plus one. 
it's 11. So we'll go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 to their initiative. Possible end of turn. Uh, I will contest it. So I need a 1, 2, or 3 on Grant's 5. So 1, 2, or 3. No, it does not. Okay, so where is this? Possible um, end of turn? Yeah, it's minus 2 to your roll. So you've got a, uh, so on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 is what you need for, uh, for, for Lee. Lee. For Lee, right. 1, 2, 3, or 4. Wow, do I want to extend this? My strategy has been to let these turns end. It's in my... Well, I have a lot of things I'd like to do, but it's raining and it's command paralysis. I think the right strategic thing to do is for me to let the turn end. Comment below. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> If I didn't have command paralysis, I I, oh, I yeah. would continue the turn. But yeah. with, the, I, with the command paralysis, it's just... I mean, I, all, all I, things I, being equal in this whole scenario, as the defender, as we've seen time and time again in Civil War battles, the defender is at the advantage there, and you're on the time advantage. So, yeah, if I were you, just let it go, man. I mean, I'm not pressing anything in the moment. <laughs> I say that, but... Who knows? Maybe I got maybe I've got a rabbit up my sleeve. All right, let's do once again some okay. foraging here before we go through all the stuff. And now it's down to Griffin. Okay, so last chance, boys. Otherwise, you're gonna get starving. All right, Griffin on a one, two, or three. He does. Yeah, I'll it all recover. Maybe uh, Macintosh on a one, two, or three. Fail. Those Personally, all... I'd rather see that flip myself, but that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that was it. Oh, and uh, and you've Rickets, got a couple. And, and, yeah, Ricketts, one, two, or three. No, okay, that's not good. You also have Devin and Merritt down under Torbett. Devin and Merritt under. Oh yes, thank you. Yes, uh, and they have moved. So now on natural twos. So Devin uh, rolls another six, and yeah. Merritt. Rolls yet another six. Am I Makes me glad that? we're not doing a tackles. Wow. Ugh. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. But luckily, they're in Hanover. Everybody's in Hanover County, so uh, mm -hmm. that that's fine. We're, we're going to get the vittles yeah. from Caroline and the boats. Yeah. Okay, so do a rain recovery. All right, so we go on to the strategic cycle. Leader recovery. We do not have any because nobody's sick. Uh, strategic segment. I guess I can roll this one. Okay. So here's our strategic random event. It's an eight. So uh, Mosby's Raiders suck it, Mosby. I ain't got any railroads. <laughs> so it does not affect landings. It only affects stuff in Culpeper County and along the railroads. Right. So we've learned that lesson. <laughs> All right. So nothing there. That's why we went with the amphibious stuff. Reinforcements. Okay, I get to place my reinforcements now. Um, okay, so I have three let's... from last time, and then I will be rolling to see what I get for next time. So let me see how this steps work. Okay, so I'm going to assign the ones from last time, and as I recall, on the VP marker, I've got three. So I'm going to assign them. I'm going to definitely give them to... Some of the people that have been hurt. Uh, so Crawford's going to get one. So I will bump him up by one Oops. to seven. Uh, Ricketts is going to go back up to a ten. And so I'm going to add one back to Chapman to bring him back up. And so he's at two now. Uh, those are my three points for the, for last time. So let's uh, pull that aside here, put that to zero. And now I will allocate for my replacements for next time. So you get a die times two now. Oh, because I'm terrible at replacements. Is that right? Yes. Am I reading that table right? You're okay. correct. With 27 losses, I get... So, yeah, it's four, it's four this time. Because they're both two. So yeah, they're, that's called... Yeah. So there's four coming next time, and I will move the... 
on the time marker. We'll just go ahead and put that out there. There we go. All right. And did you get anything? I got the very vital and important butler. Petersburg box. Walk. I think that's a good spot for him. They come in handy. He works for Hampton, too. Good. You're going to get, because you've only Talk. lost, yeah, you'll roll one die, and you'll get, uh, those will go for your replacement. So I'm going to roll for that. Yep. Four. Okay. These replacement points are immediately allocated to infantry. Oh, boom. That All right. Well, lucky Exception, you. The replacement might maybe allocate to an infantry debate. Infantry only. Okay. Divisions, too, I think. Yep. Divisions. So I can't give one to Johnson. So I'm going to bump Kershaw up by one. I'll bump Field up by one. Early up by one. And Rhodes up by one. So yeah, that's nice. Nice little bonus. I, there's a lot of moving parts here. I feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's next? We've got the valley segment. Well, let's see what we're going to do in the valley. Uh, 9, 10, and I've got 11, yeah, so it'd be a straight up fight, and you've got the tactical prowess, I do not, so it'd be a negative 1 attack on that. I'm going to leave the USA active and not do any activity there. They're going to stay there, not expend any points, or clearly, they're not doing any movement, so they will stay in an active environment. Um... Do you wish to do anything? Would you like to attack? So I could move into your space, or I could move one box, right? Right. And you've got 11. And it, the way this works, it's ratio and tactical only. That's it. I guess I'm better off with a strategic standoff, I guess. Okay. I'm right below. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I'm not understanding how to do the soft map stuff. So anyway, um, well, okay, we're gonna learn a lot here. Okay, Bermuda Hundred segment. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do anything in the Bermuda Hundred either. So uh, we're just gonna let that go. There's there's too much of a standoff at Petersburg there, and you've you're entrenched, and Gilmore doesn't have enough against your entrenchments. So we're just gonna we're gonna hold tight there. So would you like to do anything? Let's see. I think I'm not going to do anything either. I don't think I want to try to move. I'm going to leave everything as they are. Okay. Well, then that was uh, brief. So no points expended there. No I'm change to... Yeah. <laughs> 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 you damned fools. Do not know how to play this game. The uh, answer's yeah. Uh, depot segment. All right. So let's take that in order. Uh, clearly, there's no effect from Mosby and his ne'er do wells and road agents, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go on to the supply. So Union Depot phase. Uh, well, the first thing is I can either build another one, or I can complete the one I'm on. So I will complete this one, and we will extend our uh, capabilities into Hanover County now, which I believe is how that works. I hope. We'll find out. I think that's right, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to begin the process of dismantling my depot in Ashland. Mm -hmm. He's beginning we're dismantling that depot. I don't see any reason. It's just a target. I'm not going to make any big advance, big offensive moves here. Internal lines, my man. All right. Yep. Okay, then uh, now we will check for supply status. Yes. Everybody that's in Hanover and Caroline counties, I think, broad sweeping for both of us, are in supply. Can, would we agree on that? Yeah. So anybody that I currently have out of supply is now in supply. So Macintosh, you're eating good tonight, buddy. And Ricketts, you're eating good. Um, and then we moved to the Louisa County, and they are going to be out of supply. So he go, Chapman goes back out, and these guys all go back out of supply. And way up at Orange County, 
B2 out of supply. All right. You're supposed to live off the fat of the land. And I think your guys up at the uh, railroad, the horse artillery and kitchen are out of supply. Oh, yeah. Well, Look at them. Wow. <laughs> we don't need them up there anymore. There you go. All right. So that is my supply status, and you're all good. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got everybody's in Hanover County or Enrico County. All right, Union Command. Let's see if I earn a point for each of these guys. I'm just rolling because there's no modifiers on either one of them that I am aware of, at or under their number. So here's Hunter first. He is not, so I don't earn a point. And Butler is a three. He does not. Okay, so we're staying active, but we did not earn any points. That's easy. Next we have the victory points. Hooray! I still get another six points. I'm even! Yay! So we go up to oh. eight, 18 victory points total now. Because I still have Louisa Caroline. and Caroline. Yep. Okay. So each of those were three. My negative 18 and positive 18 now work out. And let's get out of this rain, what do you say? And we're at an hour 10, so we could probably do at least one one more turn. Sure. Okay. Uh, so we have moved on to that. And I will let you, sir, do the random event. Now let's see. Let's get something different, just to mix it up a little bit. Seven is Ooh, Union Night March. A Union That's something different. That is something different. Okay. That's pretty amazing timing on that one, so I'm going to put that marker out. You get it? Yep. Oh, you found it. Okay, it. cool. Which means what? <laughs> uh, that gives me a modifier for an activate army. So if I try to do a quick quick uh, no. march here. And you get a minus, minus two if you do it yeah, during the if, first activation. If I do it on my first activation, that's correct. Oh wow! Uh, let's uh, continue on with our our schedule here. Leader transfers. Um, I will not move anybody. I'm going to keep everyone as they were, because I didn't get to activate all my plans and schemes last time. So I will I will keep where I am. Hmm. Going to. Move AP Hill over to Anderson. Longstreet will stay where he is. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for me. Uh, so no off map for me. I'm not gonna do anything either. County control has not changed. Attachments, no attachments for me. Uh, I do not have any. Okay. Uh, and on to the action cycle. I will uh, I will roll our first one here. So here we go. It's yours. Interesting. Of Long Street will activate Kershaw and Field. Here's their movement. Eight. Long Street will transfer to Kershaw. Field will move first. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Long Street and Kershaw will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to there. Initiative, mine again. AP Hill will activate sub one and Anderson, seven this time. AP Hill will stay with Anderson. They'll go first, one. Two, three, four, five, six to there. So one will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Initiative. Mine again. Take ram search T1. There's his movement. Four. He's just going to do a min move to heal its turnout. Initiative, mine again. I'll take him to fatigue two. And he's going to jump on the railroad. 
initiative. Mine again. How far can he go? He can go up to 26 hexes without losing two fatigues. Yeah, he's going to go to Ashland, which is 13 hexes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And he'll pick up a single fatigue for that. Initiative, yours. All right, well, it's my first activation. So I'm going to attempt, with my Night March sneakiness, a, an army activation. So here's the roll. And it is a six, but it is a... Did I fail? Did I fail that? Did I actually fail that? Active loot sucks in your life. Oh, it is four more. Four <laughs> or more. <laughs> I did fail. Because it's me, Roger. It's me. I fail. So I needed anything but a six. Oh, oh you needed anything but a six. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was... <laughs> Uh, so the action is over. Do not proceed. Do not click $200. Do not go. I can do one more activate army leadership in the turn, but it can only be attempted later in the action phase. Roll initiative. It's mine again. Let's try that again. Now you get a minus one. Minus, I five. get a minus one. <laughs> okay. uh, Grant will attempt to get everybody motivated again. Here's the roll. It is a four again. Fail. Oh, wow. Fail. All right. Well, next initiative... So I can do no more activate army. It's mine. We'll, we'll just have to do it the old fashion. Oh, you, you can't, you're limited to that? Yeah, you only get two attempts. No more two attempts. Per turn. So okay. night marching wasted. We're just wandering around Caroline County. Nobody knows where they're going. Well, let's, uh, it's my initiative. Hmm. So I forgot all about that. That's an interesting. I should have been thinking about that myself for yeah. this. This would have been a good, good turn for me to set that up. Okay. Let's have Sedgwick activate Ricketts and Getty. They will march normally. Here's plus one. That's a good march. So we'll take it. Uh, they will go one, oh, two, oh. three, four, five, six, and seven. Getty will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Initiative. Mine again. We will activate all three this time. Here's movement, plus one. And it all evens out, doesn't it? All right, so we go one and two. And one and two and one and two. Initiative, yours. Longstreet will activate Kershaw and Field. There's their movement. Three. Longstreet will transfer to Field. They'll go first. One, two, three to there. Kershaw will go one, two, and three to there. Initiative, yours. Warren will activate Crawford and Griffin. Here's movement plus one, three. Uh, one, two and three, one, two and three. Initiative, mine again. This is one of those moments, folks, out there watching this. New players, where you have to weigh, I'm probably not gonna get the next initiative. So what has priority here? Let us uh, activate the fifth core again with Warren. Here's movement plus one. Four. Warren will go one, two, three, and four. Crawford will go one, two, three, and four. Uh, Robinson will simply go overland and join them. Initiative. Mine again. Okay. Sedgwick will take everybody in the six core. Getty and Ricketts will need extend march, so here's movement plus one, six. All right, so Ricketts extend plus one. Oh, he's already, yeah, so plus one, he's okay. So go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Getty, one, two, three, four, five, six is extend. 
he flips. And right and one, two, three, four, five. Six to there. Initiative. Okay. Warren will take the fifth core. Have a couple of extended marches. Here's their movement plus one, four. Warren and Griffin extend plus one. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Crawford's extend. He's okay. Here we go. One, two, three. And Robinson does not need no one. He'll go one, two, three, four. Initiative, yours. Interesting. Very disturbing. AP Hill will take Anderson, sub one, and Heath. Here's their movement. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to force march anybody. Still, AP Hill will stay with uh, Anderson. He'll go one, two, three to there. Heath will go next. One, two, three to there. Some one will just do a min move to there. Initiative. Why? You'll take E. Johnson and early. Here's their movement. Plus two. Seven. We and you will stay with Johnson. Early's going to go first. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven to there. Initiative, yours. Torbert, march everybody. And here's your movement, plus two, or plus one. Nine. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the Hungary station. Uh, initiative, yours. We'll take Wilcox to fatigue one. There's his movement. One die plus one. Three. One, two, and three to there. Initiative. Mine again. Oh, AP will take Anderson and Heath. Anderson will need an extend march. Here's their movement. It's going to be a four. It'll transfer to Heath. Anderson will move first. Here's his extend march. It's He's okay, there's no modifier for him. He's going to go one, two, three, and four to there. Oh, hello. Two, three, four, probably should. Initiative, yours. Uh, let's get the erstwhile ninth core going here. Fatigue. Here's their movement plus one. Go Burnside. Go. Mm. Good uh, movement on this this day. Artillery and Potter will go first. They will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to Nelson's Bridge. One. Oh, look at this backtracking. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And Stevenson, one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, mine again. Let's have them go again. Here's movement plus one, three this time. One, two, Burnside will go one, two, and three. Stevenson, one, two, and three to there. 
initiative yours I'm trying to decide how to plug holes but i don't have enough guys to plug anything i'm moving too slowly you're moving too fast i haven't done a good job of keeping my units within command radius either take wilcox to fatigue two so when you one die plus one and a two means he can go three hexes dang 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 Okay, I think I got time to start doing some force marching, I think. He's going to force march. He starts off with a base of three. He's going to go to disorganized. Here's his additional movement. It's four, which is a three. So he gets a total of six. And he's going to lose a single manpower. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six to there. Initiative, yours. Going to have J.I. Greg activate under Sheridan. Here's movement plus two. It's eight. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to Atlee Station. Initiative, mine. Uh, they will go to fatigue level two and damage. At Lee's station. Uh, initiative, yours. Take Hagood to T1. He loses his entrenchments. There's his movement. He can go six hexes. Head straight south. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Uh, initiative, yours. I will have Custer go to fatigue level two, and he will burn Hungry Station, and that is damaged now. Okay, initiative, yours. Stuart will activate Shambles. He loses his entrenchments, and Lomax. Here's their movement, plus three, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten to there. Well, Max goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten to there. Initiative mine. Hampton will activate Rosser. They go eight hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to there. Initiative mine again. Wanted him to get one more hex, Rosser. I'll take Rosser to T2. Here's their movement. He'll just do a mid move to there. Initiative, yours. Break out! <laughs> Seems like that's what we gotta try to do. I mean, just moving's not gonna help me very much. Uh, so Sheridan will attempt an assault with J.I. Gregg on Hampton. So here's the assault attempt. It fails. Womp, 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 womp. Initiative. It's yours. We'll attempt an assault with Stuart with Chambliss. Here's the attempt. It's a five. He's a six. So it does come off. This is going to be a type of a plus one. You have for artillery, one gun. I have zero guns, so you have a roll for artillery, I believe. Yes, let's find out. If, uh, if on even it's used, it's used. Plus two for flank, and this is going to now, I'm going to have a minus. It's going to come off. A couple minuses. Uh, ratio is going to be a minus one, and artillery is now a minus one. That was the one I was hoping to not have on me. So it's three up and two down for a final of a plus one. That is correct. Plus one. Probably not worth doing. 
Five. Okay, it's five. Here's the defense. Eh, it's plus three, so it's a little R. That's good. Yeah. Open, pick, maybe pick up a manpower on you, but so, needed the artillery to not be there. That's what I needed. And I didn't get so it. we flip. Uh, get that. And yeah, so it'll be uh, clearly this is the way to go. It's priority without any losses. And then out of your Zoc, farther away. And then I can go a couple more, so I will go there and there to Mechanicsville. And I pick up, I think, two fatigues. So he's done. You have been flipped to a three. That's not good. Probably wasn't worth spending all that time on it, but... Well, you, I mean, you made me sweat because I didn't get the breakout, and I was like, uh oh Yeah, Stuart. Um, and we didn't roll natural ones each, so we don't have to worry about Stuart dying, or Sheridan dying. Yep. Okay, so initiative. Yours. I will have Hancock activate Gibbon and Mott. Fatigue one. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Yep. Here's their movement, plus one. Boo. Finally, finally a slow slow roll. Slows. This will go one, two, and one, two. Initiative. Mine again. We'll take them to fatigue, two. Here's their movement, plus one. <laughs> Ooh. Arrgh. Now we'll go one, two. And one, two. <laughs> Initiative. Yours. Well, twos, okay. Let's see. Uh, what a fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. I'd like to think that adversity is giving me all manner of challenges to overcome. See, Hanover Junction is... It's county control, isn't it? It is. So it's... I've got a three and a four, three, and you're coming in there with all kinds of manpower. Do I throw up a flank refuse to get a plus one to start with, or do I get out of there? Do I care about one three-pointer? Make you fight for it? Yeah, let's make him fight for it. What else do we got here? Uh, I need to hold on to Ashland, because that's depot for the next strategic cycle. And you get points for destroying depots, so i got to hold on to that. Do have Mr. Butler down there. That's interesting. Let's take Haygood to fatigue one. His movement five. He'll go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative mine. Activate E. Johnson and Early with Yule. There's their movement. Seven. You'll stay with E. Johnson. Early will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to Chili's Tavern. E. Johnson will go one, two, three. So he'll have four remaining. Do I play for the next initiative or not? Be a plus five attack, I think. If I wait till next time, I could potentially though really make a huge difference. I get the Lee bonus. I could potentially do a grand assault. I'm gonna gamble and go for the initiative on this die roll. Oh, double ones. <laughs> you could end the turn if you wish. If I extend the turn, it's gonna be your turn. So, uh, Sedgwick being in a precarious spot, I will not extend the turn. I will attempt to extend the turn. Okay. So I need a one, two, three, or four. Yep. I don't get it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. <laughs> All that work for nothing. Oh, <laughs> Not only do man. I... uh, so we will <laughs> end the turn. That was a that was a nail biter right ah. there. <laughs> 
so so what's what's funny about that roger is uh i'm pulling back the curtain for people at home i was looking up something in the rule book and you were and you were just you know you moved hey good and like yeah yeah whatever and then you're like oh i'm gonna move these guys i'm like okay they're just kind of moving them down in position i did not realize that you rolled so well and then all of a sudden i scrolled down a little bit early's going for the big flank i was like oh my god <laughs> And then you, yeah, so I'm glad you hesitated on that one very much so. So the turn ends. We are going to, let's see, I've got just one forage, couple, no, I've got some foraging over here. So uh, we'll start as we do in Gordonsville. So on a uh, one or two in Orange County, uh, they do, look at that. All right, come down to Louisa, we'll do sub three first, one, two, or three. They do. And uh, artillery reserve one, one, two, or three. They do not. Wadsworth, one, two, or three. He does not. Artillery two, does not. Okay. All right, so Chapman, one, two, or three. He does. All right. And, and then I got to <laughs> do the first cavalry too. So um, I believe, yeah, those are both ones or twos. So Kitching, one or two. He does not. Horse artillery, one or two. He does not. So that is it. I <laughs> will now hit the regular recovery. That was a hell of a nail biter end. Well, um, even a cliffhanger, aren't we? We this are. Is the closest we've ever come we are. We went, and we came right at two hours, which is exactly what I wanted. Let's do our. Let's uh, move the turn marker forward to May 25th turn 22. Let us see what our random event is. See, you rolled the last one, I think, so I will roll this one. That's good, because you always roll rain. <laughs> Shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you put it in, you, you put it out in the universe. Here it comes. Here's our random event. It's a six. Union command paralysis. Command. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. What does that mean? That's a minus one to my rolls, I'm guessing. Oh, is it? It's just, okay. It's just There's the opposite. No difference. So let me put one of those markers out. There we go. Don't be right. Cats are meowing. Everybody just ate, and yet they're still meowing. Why? Why, God? All right. So what are your final thoughts on this as we close out today on a cliffhanger? Well, you're definitely getting... You've got a lot more guys south of me than I'd like to see. I don't. I assume you get some huge points if you get into Richmond. I don't know if you have to stay there. I don't know how all that works. I'll have to go through the uh, the reading. Of course, I have a depot down there, which is big points for you if you can destroy. Yeah, there was no fighting uh, this session, hardly other than some because decided to bloody shirts, shirt and nose, hopefully. Um, and of course, the big fight that's going to happen next time, potentially. It all comes down to that first initiative. And again, I think it'd be interesting to see what people think about my decision to, to gamble and to get the next initiative to try to add the Lee bonus and potentially add a ratio and potentially add and eliminate the artillery. Was I thought it was worth it to get an extra plus, potentially plus three. I sure agreed with that decision. But I mean, even if, even if I was the same thing, because... Uh, I know how you like to pile on modifiers, but why wouldn't you? I mean, statistically, you've got 16% more chance of getting the next initiative. Plus, yeah. you would get that Lee bonus, plus possible Grand Assault, plus, you know, all those things. I think that was the right call. It just came up. Snake eyes! Yeah, yeah literally. It was, it was like the last thing I was expecting to have happen. But uh, I've got some reading to do. This was Cat and Mouse today with the rain, and uh, you're doing it. You're just stretching me out. When I was looking at the map set up before we got started, I was, I realized I had, you know, the, the combat we had last session uh, where we were at Beaver Dam Station, Trinity Church, Zion Church, all that fighting uh, turned out good for manpower losses, but it did. It meant I was way north uh, and you ran around, right around me today. But good job on you on marching. Mm, thank you. I wanted to stay flexible with that rain, of course. I knew I wasn't going to move very far. So when you started to work down towards here uh, for covering all those ferries and bridges and everything, I, I had to find a point that I could potentially squeeze. And that very much so is though, even though you've got the interior line, I do want to make you, I mean, this is a classic flank. It's a pincer move. I'm trying to get you to pick which side you're going to defend the most. 
and try to exploit the other side. I'm pleased with the movement that Burnside, once again, Holger has pointed out, he's, he's starting the Burnside fan club because yeah. he, he is he is <laughs> making the movements. He intends to move on your works. So uh, I, I'm pleased about all of that. That gave me the opportunity to, if Grant and Hancock had not gotten the slows, come on, Winfield, come on! Got to get these guys moving because now I can potentially exploit Hanover Junction up there. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. But I am nervous now, of course. You got Sedgwick in a pinch there. I can't abandon Ricketts because he's a one. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he's going to stick around. I just, I, I, I desperately need that first initiative. But we will see what happens in the next exciting episode with Session 10. Roger, thank you for another fantastic game today, of course. And everybody else that's watching that's been along with us for nine whole sessions, thank you for your continued support and attention and just enthusiasm about this whole thing. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to go, but uh, you're with us, and the feedback we've been getting is very encouraging. So thank you. Take a moment, of course, click the like and subscribe. That's the instant way that you can do that. You tell YouTube that you're enjoying this stuff and you want to see more of it. And I'm also showing you our monetary supporters. Do not feel obligated in any way, shape, or form. But it is fall, and like PBS does, we could do a fall fundraising campaign here. If everybody wants to kick in a buck or two, <laughs> you'll get your name up there. That, that'd be fun for you. Well, let's double that in the list of people. You got some Lawrence Welk episodes queued up, I right? I do. Right it's here. a one and a two. <laughs> That's right. It's wonderful, wonderful. So Good thank you, everybody. Financial planning. Oh, great. <laughs> These episodes of the American Civil War are brought by supporters like you. So thank you very much. I guess I should get Ken Burns as a as a sponsor for this. So yeah. everybody out there, uh, we hope you have a great week. We will see you on the next episode. And Roger, have a great one, man. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>